Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie, and I'm here with my Reason colleague, Matt Welch. We're the co-authors of The Declaration of Independence, How Libertarian Politics Can Fix What's Wrong with America. And our next question on Ask a Libertarian Day comes from Thron Toffley, if that is his or hers real name. Is there a wildly successful modern real-world example out there someplace that showcases libertarianism at its best? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. New Zealand stopped giving subsidies to farmers in the mid-1980s. The world didn't collapse. In fact, their farm industry is healthier than ever. They export a ton. They've decreased the amount of land that they use. It is an environmental success. It's something that every country, especially every rich country, should have done 10 years ago, but haven't. Portugal decriminalized hard drugs. What happened? There was a bunch of junkies in the streets crawling around. No, the number of people who are seriously addicted to hard drugs decreased. If you want to look no further for a libertarian success, go to a bar and order a beer for crying out loud. 20 years ago, all beer in this country was horrid. And now beer is good. And part of the reason why beer is good is because in the 1970s, Jimmy Carter deregulated, decriminalized, the production of beer in your own basement. And a whole generation of craft brewers revolutionized the entire beer industry as we know it. I would like to point out that the decriminalization of uh, drugs in Portugal is probably the fourth Fatima miracle in that country, so more props to it. And also look at cyberspace where uh, there, in fits and starts we have seen the creation of a whole new world uh, with new rules, new regulations, and it works pretty damn well. So yes, Thron Toffley, there are wildly successful modern real world examples out there where the principles behind libertarianism have worked tremendously well.